Chapter 3 Sources of Income Chapter Outline 3.1 Introduction 3.2 Meaning of Personal Income 3.3 Various Sources of Personal Income 3.4 What is Baluta System 3.5 Agro Based Industry 3.6 Modern Sources of Personal Income Learning Outcome After reading this chapter, you would be able to understand Meaning of Personal Income Sources of Personal Income Baluta and Aluta System in Agriculture Nature of Small Scale and Cottage Industry and Modern Sources of Personal Income 3.1 Introduction We have studied in the earlier chapter that human wants are unlimited and they go on increasing. People purchase many things like dresses, books, vehicles, mobiles, shoes and so on. It requires money to fulfill human wants. So, an individual has to earn an income. 3.2 Meaning of Personal Income Personal income is the sum total of earnings received by a person during a given period of time. A person receives income for his contribution to the production. I work in a factory. I earn wages. I work in an office. I earn salary. I am a businessman. I earn profits. Four factors of production are required for production of goods and services. They are land, labor, capital and enterprise. Land earns rent, labor earns wages or salaries, capital earns interest and an entrepreneur earns profit for the work done. Income is paid in cash or in kind. In rural areas, income is paid in the form of wages as well as food grains, commodities, etc. In urban areas, income is paid in the form of money wages or salary as well as fringe benefits such as house rent allowance, traveling allowance, medical aid, etc. 3.2 Various Sources of Income The sources from which individuals obtain income are as follows. Agriculture In the rural area, most of the people depend upon agriculture and related economic activities. Agriculture is a seasonal occupation. Most of the farmers are poor. They use plough, a pair of bullocks, etc. to cultivate land. Rich farmers use tractors. There are wide differences in the income of small farmers, landless laborers and zamindars. Agricultural income is received from food crops like rice, wheat, jowar, bajra, pulses, etc. and cash crops such as sugarcane, cotton, soya bean, etc. Income from agriculture is low due to uncertain rainfall, use of old methods of production, small land holdings, etc. Lack of proper irrigation facilities, inadequate credit provisions and natural calamities like flood, famines, etc. are also responsible for low level of agricultural income. Government of India has introduced several measures to increase agricultural productivity like land reforms, green revolution, spread of education, an increase in irrigation facilities, credit provisions, training program for farmers, etc. Agricultural development is necessary in India because to increase agricultural productivity, to create employment opportunities, to earn foreign exchange through export and to supply raw materials for industries. In short, 
agricultural sector has a great impact on human life. The origin of this traditional agriculture is found in the Baluta system. Three point four. What is Baluta system? Earlier, Baluta system was practiced in rural parts of India. It was based on interrelationship among various groups. Each group was assigned a specific occupation. The groups were based on the profession they followed. The Baluta system consisted of twelve Balute Dars like carpenter, blacksmith, potter, goldsmith, cobbler, barber, washerman, fisherman, mahar, mang, chaugula, and joshi. The above mentioned Balute Dar groups were not uniformly followed all over India. Certain groups were included and some excluded in various parts of the country. Balute Dars were providing their services to villagers. The reward paid for these Balute Dars was called Baluta or Mehentana. In northern India, Baluta system was known as Jazmani system. Main features of Baluta system The society was divided into various groups. There was a division of labor on the basis of occupation. Man's occupation was determined by his birth. The life of the people was custom and religion based. Baluta system was a self-governed social system. Merits of Baluta system Rural society was economically self-sufficient. There was no problem of unemployment because same occupation was followed by the next generation. Human needs were limited and so there was economic stability. There was social integrity. Demerits of Baluta system There was a limited scope for development. Economic progress was slow due to lack of competition. There was exploitation of lower income groups. It prevented changes in occupation. In short, Baluta system was a self-governed social system. Due to social reforms today, one can choose any occupation as per his ability and willingness. 3.5 Agro-based industries Industries which depend upon agriculture for raw material are called agro-based industries. Development of agro-based industries is necessary for the use of local resources and skills. It is an important source of income for rural people. Modern sources of income In urban areas, People are mostly engaged in service sector to earn income. It includes transport, communication, banking, insurance, computer services, etc. Transport and communication are nerves of the economic system. Transport helps in internal and international trade. It expands market. It also promotes tourism which creates employment. Various modes of transport like airways, railways, roadways and waterways also help many people to earn income. Means of communication like postal services, telephones, mobiles, fax, email etc. help to expand business and increase income of the people. Now, postal services are revised by speed post. Courier services are provided by private sector. It is an assured premium service other than ordinary mail where messages, packages, mails etc. are quickly and safely delivered to respective customers by taking certain service charges. It is also a good source of income. 6.7 
सीए इन इंडिया द प्रोफेशन ऑफ चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंसी दैट इज सीए इज अ प्रोफेशन ऑफ सोशल प्रेस्टीज सो बीइंग अ सीए इज अ प्रिफर्ड चॉइस फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ द कॉमर्स फैकल्टी वन कैन अर्न सुटेबल इनकम फ्रॉम दिस प्रोफेशन certificate given by ca is essential for tax payment and to take loan from banks lawyer a law graduate can become a lawyer llb nowadays lawyers are in high demand also in the corporate sector lawyers having additional qualification with good academic merit would be preferred as legal advisors in most of the companies they earn high income income from cyber cafe in modern days cyber cafe has a very huge demand due to revolution in information technology cyber cafe owners earn money from various ways like giving color printouts downloading information material songs videos games movies etc many internet operators provide various opportunities to cyber cafe owners to increase their daily collection it is a profitable modern business all these changes show ever increasing graph of economic progress in india we must take a step forward in this process of socio economic transformation income from professionals professionals income is the earning received by any professional for intellectual skill some of them are as follows doctor income of a doctor depends upon the knowledge location of the dispensary practice specialty skill experience etc it is a prestigious profession where money can be earned by providing medical services to the patients trade development of trade is also important because it generates employment trade is classified as internal and international trade internal trade means purchase and sale of goods and services within the boundaries of a country whereas international trade means import and export of goods and services from one country to another trade is useful for exchange of commodities supply of raw material delivery of final goods from industry to the market and from shops to the hands of the consumers today there is electronic trading or e trading that is buying and selling through internet thus trade plays an important role in economic development certain forces like urbanization industrialization globalization modern means of transport and communication etc brought major changes in trade small is beautiful one can enjoy better and beautiful life with small investment There are various agro-based industries like making of fruit juices, pulp, jelly, toffee, fruit jam from fruits like mango, lime, orange, guava, apples, pineapples, etc. The system where people make goods at home for sale is called as cottage industry. Making potato wafers, papad, oil, spices, pickles, etc. are good examples of small scale and cottage industries allied activities along with agriculture are also an important source of income in the rural sector it includes dairy business poultry farming fishing earthworm cultivation for fertilizers animal husbandry etc industries of leather products like footwear belts purses meat freezing and canning of fish etc captured domestic as well as international market it is possible to earn higher income from cottage industries 
by using proper managerial skills. Making chairs, baskets, etc. from cane, that is bamboo, toys and utensils from clay, and a variety of handicraft products are most popular cottage industries. Brick making In rural areas, people also earn from brick making, weaving silk, khadi and handloom fabrics, carpet weaving, making brooms, etc. Horticulture business can also be developed by cultivating flowers, vegetables, medicinal plants, etc. Supply of plants through nursery is also a profitable business. Small producers face various problems like shortage of raw materials, lack of proper marketing system, competition from big producers, etc. The success of small producers depends upon the ability to solve their problems. Several measures have been taken by the government to solve these problems like cooperative marketing, provision of credit and training centers, etc. Glossary Marketing system The system for sale and purchase of goods and services. Import Goods and services purchased by home country from abroad. Export Selling the goods and services of a country abroad. Urbanization The process of transfer of people from agricultural occupation to non-agricultural occupation. Industrialization Expansion of industries by increasing the use of machinery. Globalization the opening up of the economy for the world market.